Good morning. I wanted to show you the website Help Kids Learn. And actually, specifically today, we're going to be talking about Choose It Maker 3. There are lots of uh, different um, features of this website. But again, today, we're going to be talking about Choose It Maker 3. Um, it's create personalized choice making activities for use in the classroom or with individuals. I have a lot of students that do like to use this, um, this application. Um, and I like it as well. I signed up for the free trial, so you get it for 14 days. Um, you can also uh, pay for, I think, home access is like $10.99 a month. Um, but let me show you what it entails. So Choose It Maker, um, I, it does have some samples. I guess let's show you some samples. Um, this is odd one out. So. You would, if you click on one that's wrong, it doesn't do anything. This little thing obviously is the uh, cue. Um, if you get the correct one, it gives you a nice little reinforcer. Um, and it takes data for you. So this is what I really like about it. It tells you how long that it was played, the questions that were answered, how many you got correct. Um, you can have your student um, send you the data or your parents, the parents send you the data so they can save it um, and email it to you. Exit the activity. Uh, I'm going to go back to my sample, or not samples. Um, I actually started to make some of my own. I had a student that wanted some colors and shapes. We're going to do animals next. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and manage. I'm going to show you how to use it. Um, and we're going to edit the activity. So you can see I have 12 slides. Um, you can add a new page easily. Um, you just type in what you want. Find pink. Um, then you click on the cell that you want to add add it to go to your media library it has actually really nice pictures um, but you can go on the web um, they have a nice filter filtering system there as well so put pink and then i'm gonna go brown oops forgot so we'll do brown and I'm adding brown there. I want to take the text off. I can just say remove text. Um, I can change the color of the background on any of these things. I can also add more boxes. So I would just add more boxes there. Um, once you're finished, so I'll show you how it comes up. All right, then you put the check mark because this is actually your correct answer. So you can have the auditory cue here, or they can just read it. You can also make this text bigger. So if you want to fill that in, um, you can do that as well. Um, and then finish. And then I'll show you what the page. Let's click on this and preview page. And then find pink. So if you click on here, nothing, click on pink. Yes, you did it. So um, that's what this activity or this um, application looks like. But again, I like it because it takes data, because you can personalize it. So if you have kids with IEP goals and you're trying to um, you know, teach them vocabulary um, or things like that, you can do that. You can, I forgot to, I forgot to show you. You can move them around in order. Um, so if you want to move it here, you can, you can swap them, um, in their different locations. Uh, but that is it. I hope that you liked this tutorial, that you find it useful and, um, all right. Have a great day.